What is up? It's it's update. It's just some things I bought for the layout. I went to Yankee Dabbler, picked up uh, a couple switches I'm going to mess with. A right, a left, code 83. Picked them up from Yankee Dabbler. Put them over here. Uh, I went to, I went there three times now. Um, doesn't matter in what, uh, how I went, you know, in what, uh, so I went there, uh, the first time I went, um, to Triple A Hobbies in Magnolia, PA. I'm going to do a video about the place too. Uh, they have a ton, a ton of of paints, uh, weathering material, weathering supplies, effects, uh, all kinds of stuff. From Vallejo, Tamiya, uh, Ravel, uh, Mr. Hobby, AK. They have so many paints. It's, it's mind-boggling. I'll put a picture to a little bit of it in this video. But some of the things I picked up at AAA... Uh, and, uh, while I was there, uh, Digger, I was Facebooking with Digger, uh, video and asking him some things to pick up. I picked up some, uh, Vallejo chipping, uh, medium. It's water-based. I picked that up. Picked up, uh, just a color to mess around with. I think I'm going to, um, do one of my buildings this color. I kind of like it. Uh, it's Vallejo model here. Uh, picked up some CA because I needed some CA at home. I have it at the shop. But uh, I got these uh, dual XO by AKs. They were on sale. They're regularly $9.49. And I had showed them to Digger, and he said they're really expensive. And uh, they were on sale. They're still on sale. For four seventy five, he said that was a good price. I like this color, so I just got it. I got that. Um, I got a Starship Gray. It's called. I think that would make a good concrete color. And then I got thinner for them because I I think it's uh, a different thinner than um, acrylic thinner. Um, like for acrylic paints, like for acrylic airbrush paints, I, I believe. Um, so I just wanted to stick to it. It was on sale, so I just stuck with that to, to do that. And then I got some Vallejo matte uh, acrylic varnish. I'm going to use this in place of dull coat. And I got some Tamiya. I wanted to try this extra thin. Then I picked up uh, a KD uh, coupler height. This is an insulated one. You got to put it together. It's a little kit, a little different than the metal ones. Uh, I picked that up there. I picked up uh, today when I went back. I picked up some Vallejo weathering rust texture. I don't know. Sounds good. Whatever it is. Um, this little bottle is six fifty, but there's a lot in there. Right. And then Digger told me about these uh, pencils. I've been messing with them, and they're awesome. You know, if uh, if you're thinking about getting these, uh, watch some of Digger's videos on using these, and uh, they're really great, man. They're so, so easy. You can use them like they are. You can wet them and use them on the surface. And then you can manipulate that with a brush. You could uh, wet a brush and just dab off color from the pencil tip and use it on uh, whatever you're trying to weather. Uh, so I got this little kit. My buddy Digger bought me this little kit. Uh, he said he wanted to buy me it. So I wasn't going to get it, but I'm glad I did because I really like it. And then today I went back and got a couple more colors. Uh, you see that? Uh, this is smoke and uh, chipping color. And that's the color that it is. So just a couple different more colors uh, to mess around with. Um, 
So, yeah, that's what I got. And then uh, the other day at Yankee Dabbler, I also picked up some things to do kit, uh, kit, kit building, kit bashing, some six by sixes. And I picked up uh, some styrene sheets. These are 40 thou and they are 8 by 21. That eight by twenty one. So uh, I have a building, a couple buildings on my layout. This will be perfect for. Um, they're only gonna be like half building, so I got more than enough stuff here to build that uh, out of. And the other thing, I brought my modeling things to the house from my shop so you guys remember that i built that to put under my desk at my shop so i bought that i mean there's end scale stuff in there but most of it is paint um wiring all different tools all different things you guys remember this you know my tools to do things you know, gotta keep organized, man. I don't know how you guys uh, have clutter like that. It's a mess. I can't stand that. Uh, and then my uh, my organizer thing um, under my under my layout in the other room. I'm going to build a little workbench. Um, right now, I have this uh, sit stand desk, which is nice because I can work at different heights. You know. But I'm going to have all this under my layout. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I'm underway. Let me show you this uh, cool little diorama. This is a cool little diorama. This is from my friend Russell. This was at his house, this diorama. It was mm, dusty and, uh, yeah, just dusty. He has a couple of them. And uh, the trolley is mine, and there's overhead here that I have to repair. It's just soldered on. Uh, it's just soldered to this uh, metal, uh, sorry, this metal overhead uh, thing here. But uh, yeah, kind of like here. I want to, I want to repair the other end so that it uh, stays on there. It's got a little trolley pole, O scale track. This is O scale. But this is a cool little diorama that a company made. The company's uh, out of business now. Uh, but uh, it's got a little brick here and uh, little manhole covers and different. Uh, but uh, it's really cool. And. Uh, Sidewalk scene, a couple benches, you know. Uh, so that's that. Uh, that's what I've been doing. And uh, this should keep me busy. That's it for this update. Uh, Going to start bench work soon. And that's it. Over now.